Good morning. A very late start today, 7 a.m. <laughs> and I say that's a late start because the last six weeks or so, I've been starting at three o'clock in the morning and getting up at 2 a.m. So seven start. Yeah, I'm just morning. Welcome on a Monday morning, really is. And there is the trailer that I need to be collecting. But it's middle of showers, April showers, isn't it, in April? So it's stop start, hailstone, rain, quite a lot at the moment. So I'm just waiting for a little bit of a break, then go run out, check the trailer and then get hooked up to it. The joys of working with straps. Yeah. Get the wind. <laughs> that took me head off. All right, now that's strapped up. I'm out of the way. Luckily, got a little gizmo. You can wind them up. It's nice and easy. That wind's trying to kill me. And I'm going to stand over here out the way while I do my winding. Get them all nice and sorted. Nice and easy. Yeah, careful of these little things there to cover the wind. I don't know if you can hear me because the wind's that bad. That's oh, the strap saw stacked away nice and neat. Let's get that locked up. When the wind's this bad, you just need to be really, really careful. As you can see now, curtains are just going wild. I've strapped down a couple of times already, but they've come loose because the wind's just pushing them. So I need to get this curtain over that side and then open this side for them. Wish me luck. What my plan of action is, put the bar in, tighten it on that side, then I'm going to tighten it on this side, and then I'm going to do all these straps about midway, and then open this side, so it's just half of it open. So when I come to do it later on, I'm only opening and shutting half of it. Like so. So now we've got a strap there, and we've got a strap there, I've folded the curtains over, that's all secured. And now when the wind blows, it won't go crazy and then risk getting hit in the head with one of these things. Because they will hurt. right now. You see my hook is just blown everywhere, my hair's all over the place. Really bad winds. So if you are driving in this weather, just be careful. Absolutely freezing. <laughs> oh. And just like that, here comes the rain. So I'm just leaving the yard now at Widnes. It's currently half past 10. Nice and easy one so far. <laughs> 
a little bit of waiting around for all the guys to get loaded and then myself get unloaded but however at least I managed to get everything emptied and curtain secured etc and leave just before the rain come so it looks like we've got another storm approaching I have seen on Facebook actually this morning I think it was in Derby it was like a mini tornado, uh, mini tornado and it tipped over a caravan and caused loads of damage to people's property so hopefully the weather doesn't get that bad up here for today it doesn't normally get that bad up around Warrington area so it's not too bad and I'm staying quite local today as well so I've got a collection over by the centre of Widness right now or by the retail park so I'm on the way to there and then that's got to get delivered to their client over in Runcorn which is only about four or five miles away and then I'm coming back to the Windows Depot, get loaded up and deliver it to one of the clients around the corner. So I'm pretty much around Windows all day to be honest, which is not too bad. I don't mind it being a little bit local when the weather's like this. Hopefully I can time it right to get in and out of the cab when it's raining. Otherwise the waterproof's good for coming out. Heavens have opened up properly right now. <laughs> My word, I'm absolutely soaked. side at a time at this place. And when you're doing your curtains in the wind, try to hold back pulling the curtains until you get a break in the wind. So let the wind do its thing, hold it down, and then as soon as it break, then pull. Just run as much as you can, as fast as you can. <sighs> Finally all done and loaded at Widness. The time is currently half past 12. Uh, tomorrow I'll go right actually, might be easier instead of trying to do a hard left turn get out of this yard. At least got plenty of turning space if we do it right instead. Next place, Runcorn. Just arriving at Runcorn and it's currently 10 to 1 so I've been put quite far back behind at the moment due to that collection just then. I was there for an hour and a half in total. Ideally, I wanted to be in and out within half hour. 
Now, hopefully, well, this place is normally pretty quick to unload, to be fair. He's quite good on the forks, this guy. Well, I've just got to reverse it down to where their business is. It's a bit easier to reverse it down to the business instead of reversing out onto this road. Indicator on. Hopefully the wind and rain start to calm down a little bit as well. And here we are, I'm just reversing down this little section. Fence. So we need to keep it on the right hand side. The weather really does need to start making its mind up. As you can see now, the sky is absolutely clear. Really, really nice up behind me. But it's just been hammering it down to the point I've got my full waterproofs on. And yeah, I'm absolutely soaking. Ah, the wind's come back again. As, can. as you can see, it's just an absolute bloody nightmare to try and get these curtains shut at the moment when it's like this. It really is. That was a struggle trying to get the main curtain pole in. And then 30 seconds later, the sun comes beaming out. I can get really, really nice, but the wind, whew, here's a bad one today. Hey, my word. So the time is now currently five past two i've had my break whilst i was waiting for the guys to start unloading me and they had 15 minutes earlier so i've had 45 between them so i'm good for my driving time and working time directives now uh, why have they parked there i do however need to get some fuel on the way towards our witness depot so instead of cutting through Runcorn, I'm going to jump onto the M56 to the M6 to the 62 so that I can get some fuel on the M62 services. And then I can jump onto Witness then as well. It shouldn't be too bad going that way. That's what we've got. I've got 100 miles on the tank. I'd rather get some sooner rather than later, to be honest. I've got roadworks around here as well, it's going to put me back a little bit. Just gone to the Runcorn Bridge at the moment with an empty trailer. And, yeah, you can feel the wind, definitely. <laughs> definitely feel the wind wanting to try and pull you from one side of the road to the other. It's not a nice feeling though when your truck feels like it's trying to get away from you. The plan of action now is going to our witness depot, get loaded up and then I need to deliver it to a company probably about a half a mile from our depot. So at least I'm not going too far. And then I'll get fuel on the way back to the depot later on after making the collection. Don't let that bright blue sky fool you. Now it feels like a hurricane's hitting. <laughs> it's now 10 to 4. And I've not really done much today to be honest. We have a I started off at Haydock, drove down to Widnes, emptied off at Widnes, gone to the other side of Widnes, collected, gone to Runcorn, dropped that off, came back to Widnes, loaded up, going to a different part of Widnes, and then coming back to here, <laughs> and then that's it done. I probably drove about 30 miles today. Oh God, it's been a long day though, because I've been waiting around quite a lot today. It kind of takes out of you, doesn't it, when you're waiting around. 
much preferred long distance drives though if I'm being honest. But long distance but where I'm back at night, that's that's the best. That's the best combination to have. I don't mind the odd night out, but I'd rather be at home if I'm being honest with you. I do hope everyone had a great weekend as well. <clears throat> I'm hoping the weather gets a little bit better for next weekend. I'm not really doing too much. But I've got a full week in work this week. And then next week, I'm only in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm off Thursday, Friday. And then I'm off the Monday as well after that. So I've got quite a few short weeks coming up in a few weeks, which is good. Less days in work, the better, eh? That's the way you want it. And then in two weeks time, I'm actually doing photography for our friend's wedding. So no pressure. <laughs> I've done one wedding before, it went well. I don't know if it went alright for it. But I keep telling myself I need to get back into doing photography, I do enjoy it. It used to be a really big hobby of mine back in, uh, a few years back when he had more time to himself to go and do it. And before Covid, I was going to actually start doing professional photography. But then Covid hit. So I had to put everything on hold unfortunately and went back driving. place of delivering the load that I've got now is just up here off the roundabout on the left hand side it's big industry estate so literally it's only around the corner it looks like everybody's turned up at the same time there's one class one unit inside getting loaded or unloaded I have to double check that I've got a class two vehicle outside trying to get in and I'm parked right down there Time is now, believe it or not, 20 to 7. Now, I'm still on the way to the hub, but because traffic's quite backed up on the motorway, I had to come through the village of Newton Willows. Get emptied off at Ashton, then from there, straight back to Haydock, and then finish. The only problem is, I'm due to start tomorrow at half past four. Now we've not finished at half past seven tonight, which is a nine hour. The start time will have to be pushed back until I can clear the nine hour rest period. So it could be five o'clock then tomorrow, most likely. And the rain's back as well. <laughs> the rain's been holding off the last few hours. Um, the reason why it's took me so long as well to leave Witness Depot I had to wait for two of the class two vehicles to come back after their collections so then it could be loaded up with a trunk hub and I was waiting around for them to finish probably an hour a little bit more so it's all added up a lot of waiting around today certainly has been about nearly home time nearly home time we're nearly there so I'm now parked up inside the hub, just getting reloaded to go back to Haydock and then go drop trailer, then that is me done for the night. The time is quarter past seven at the moment. I should be back to the yard and finishing quarter to eight. So which means nine hours from then is when I can start the next time. So it's gonna be about quarter past five. 
about 45 minutes later than planned. So you did enjoy the video, don't forget that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. As always, stay safe out there, folks, especially in this wind. Take extra care, take extra time when you're driving. Just plan as much as you can as well. So thanks very much. Take care. Bye for now.